In this video we'll continue to set up our development environment and we'll need a database so one of the most popular databases to choose is a MySQL one. So this will be the installation of MySQL. So head over to mysql.com, click on the download section, scroll past the enterprise edition and go to the community download section. In here we can click the MySQL community server and I'm on Windows so I'll go ahead and download the recommended installer for that and I'll go ahead and I'll click download now we can skip this login sign up section here so I can just go no thanks just start my download and we can just wait a few seconds for that to download so we can open that up I'm just clicking uh, yes to the installation and we trust these to make changes to our device okay now we can choose the developer default so this installs all products needed for MySQL development purposes so we get MySQL server and workbench which are the two main ones we want um, so we can just go ahead and click next and the workbench is a graphical user interface and the servers the actual database itself so we can go ahead and click next uh, we can just check the requirements um, the following products are failing requirements mysql installer will attempt to resolve them automatically Actually, I might just go back here and I want the server only and the, I want a custom allows you to select exactly what products you'd like to install. Okay, so I'll do that and I want MySQL server version 8. So I can click on that. So we'll click on that and get the latest one. And I can also get the workbench. These are the ones we want. So now with that we can go ahead and we can go next. Yep, I was just checking we don't need any of these connectors. Uh, we'll be using Node, so well, I'll be using Node in this. So if you need any other connectors, uh, please click those. Click Next. Ready to download. Go next, next, uh, we'll do the uh, standalone. And we'll just uh, click these defaults here. And we might use this legacy authentication just previously in the uh, node MySQL package. It wasn't compatible with this uh, newer method so we'll go ahead and choose this one here and we just need to choose a password here 
So I'll just go ahead and type something in. Okay, so they seem to match with a strong strength. Uh, we can just go ahead and click next. Next. Uh, and execute. So it's initializing the database and it says it might take a long time here. Okay, that wasn't too long. I'll just click finish. Next. And we'll start the workbench after the setup. So we can just click finish there. And after you do that, you'll get this workbench, which is the GUI to interact with our database. And we can just go ahead and log in with that password that you just created. And this will take us to the uh, MySQL workbench. And we will Go ahead and create a node MySQL application in the next video. So thanks for watching.